Okay, so we're gonna try this again. Hi, Kiko. Kiko just came and tapped me on my butt. <laughs> He's a good boy. They want their treats. Okay, so Kiko, no, no, no hugs right now, buddy. All right, this here is Beatrice. This here is Bronson. And this here is Brawny. Um, these are three shepherd puppies that were surrendered to us on Saturday. Um, their owner decided, she made a conscious decision, I'm going to breed my female because she thought it would make her a better dog. That is 100% not true. It is a myth and it's a lie being perpetuated on the internet and through some bizarre reasoning. I, I don't understand it. I have had lots of my own personal dogs that were what I call virgins, rescue dogs that never had a litter of puppies. And they were great dogs. You have a great dog. Your dog is a great dog as a reflection of you as a dog trainer, as a personal trainer for your dog and consistency, structure, boundaries, routine, schedule, you will have a great dog. Just like children, if you provide those things for human children, you will have great dogs. Just like these dogs here, nobody else can handle. They have behavior issues. They're good with mom and dad because mom and dad provided routine structure and boundaries. That dog's never been bred. I don't know about Liam before he came to us, but he's never had a litter of puppies. Well, he's neutered. Um, Mary Spade. Keen's been neutered. I don't know if he was ever bred. He was another rescue we brought in. Kiko, no, no, no pups for you, huh, Kiko? That I know of, which, anyway, you want a great dog. It's not going to be because you let your dog have a litter of puppies. That's really an asinine way to think. So, how you have a great dog is with proper training and having a well-behaved dog with your consistency, your routine, your schedule, boundaries, teaching them things. Educate your dogs, people. I am not a dog trainer. Yes, I, I, I know a lot. I've been doing this rescue for 12 years. Never claimed to be a dog trainer. Could be. I don't want to be. I live with all these dogs every day. I don't want to be a dog trainer. I do work with our dogs that we have in the rescue, though. So, let me go back here. This here is Brawny. He's available for adoption. There's his brother, Bronson. Now, wait a minute. Yeah. Bronson is the darker one. Brawny is the lighter-headed one. And their sister, Beatrice. So, they're available for adoption through Imminent Danger German Shepherd Rescue. They were born, I think it was August 8th or 9th. So they are three and a half months old, August, September, October, November. Yep, three and a half months old. They still have all their puppy teeth. I give the former owner credit for feeding and taking care of them. However, we can't keep doing this, folks. You've got to spay and neuter your animals or they're just gonna continue to procreate more and more animals that are gonna end up dead. Is that what you want for the puppies you allowed your dog to have? Do you want to see them dead? Do you want to see them living a life on a chain in misery and neglected ear infections, skin issues, digestive issues? Because that's what happens with these dogs. And when it's neglected, a, a inexpensive vet bill, a hundred bucks, let's just say, can shoot up to a thousand bucks because you neglect your animals. I am fed up. I am ranting. I am over it. This stuff has to stop people. We have taken in 300 dogs so far this year. This is nonsense. It's like an assembly line. I can't remember dogs that we adopted out a month ago, let alone two weeks ago, let alone earlier this year. I don't remember. People will jog my memory. I'm like, I don't remember. It's like a freaking assembly line. If you don't spay and neuter your dogs, then you are part of the problem. I'm sorry, I have to say it, it's the truth. You're creating issues here. Yes, I know there's responsible dog owners that don't have their dogs spayed and neutered, but 99% of the people are allowing their animals to procreate, and this is bad. Do you want to see these puppies be euthanized? Because they went into a kill shelter, and they broke with distemper? Because that's a real thing. Lamb, ah, that's enough. You wanted the bone, you should have took it. You want to see puppies break with parvo? I didn't even tell everybody this. We took in a puppy from our local shelter, and he broke with Parvo and he died at the vets. You wanna talk about upsetting? That, how upsetting, I haven't had Parvo at my house in like eight or nine years. It was upstairs, these puppies are in my basement. They do not have access to the upstairs area. They are in my, and they have access to a half acre play yard outside. 
so they have no access to and we we disinfected like nobody's business my god i put so much freaking disinfectant on my floor the crate everything took the crate outside we sanitized it sprayed it down multiple times because i'm paranoid about dogs getting sick with parvo this stuff has to stop they don't deserve to suffer they don't deserve to suffer because of people's negligence and irresponsibility for not spaying and neutering. If you adopt or buy a dog, you need to get your girl spayed. I understand the reasoning for not getting your males neutered. I get it. It's asinine as well. However, you've got to get your girl spayed because this stuff is out of control. All I can say is, for the love of God, please spay and neuter your dogs. These are good puppies. They're good puppies. They're available for adoption through Imminent Danger German Shepherd Rescue. He's a good boy. That's Bronson. Him's a handsome fella. He's sitting here listening to Mama. There's his brother, Bronny. There's seven other siblings out there that are going to be unaltered dogs creating more litters of puppies in the next year. That's what we're dealing with here, guys. This is a crisis. We're getting over 300 requests per month, 10 to 20 requests for intake a day. Emails, text messages, Facebook messages to the rescue, Facebook messages to my personal Facebook page, phone calls, um, people who are desperate, shelters turning away dogs. They're like, I can't keep this dog. He was out on the highway. I know you just, you just nibbled me, huh? You just nibbled me. I felt that. These guys need to get, get their nails trimmed today and their other vaccines. Sorry this has gone long, guys, but it's just got to stop. I'm, I'm, get, I'm 60 years old. I can't keep doing this much longer. These guys are rough on me. I have some health issues. This rescue is going to close in the near future. I'm telling you that. We have to close because I can't do this. And there's nobody that's going to take it over. Nobody's going to do There's hardly anybody wanting to do rescue work. It's all as diehards, blowhards, you know, I guess. I don't know. I'm just ranting here, guys. I'm just fed up. Please make that appointment today to get your dog spayed and neutered. Stop procrast procrastinating. They've been playing in the water. Yeah, you were. Hi, Beatrice. He's a good girl. I am talking about you guys. You're good puppies. Just like the two boys, Fabian and Finnegan, who were dumped off in the next county over from us. They didn't deserve to get eaten by coyotes or run over by a car and laying in a ditch suffering. We squoze them in here too. I have a whole bunch of adult dogs not getting adopted. This has got to stop, people. Rant over. Not the first rant I've done this year. You're good puppies. You are good babies. You are.